Welcome to Virtual Back to School Night. My name is Ms. Tai and I am your child's ELA 7 Accelerated Teacher. Tonight, I'm just going to briefly go over a couple of things for my classroom and then we'll call it a night. So let's get started. This is my message to you. Welcome to Back to School Night, parents. I truly appreciate you watching this video, so thank you. I'm going to start off with my class focus. This is a blurb that I've written for students listed in their syllabus. However, I'd like to read it to you so that you have a better idea of what we'll be doing this school year. This year in your English class, we will explore different perspectives pertaining to you, our society, and our world through literature. We will be utilizing your My Perspectives textbook throughout the entire school year. So please refer to your textbook for the specific units we will be covering. We will also be reading three novels, The Giver by Lois Lowry, The Outsiders by Essie Hinton, and Letters from Rivka by Karen Hesse. There's also a fourth unit that we're doing uh, where we're not reading a novel, but we will be reading the stories from their My Perspectives textbook. The next thing I'd like to go over is my grading policy, specifically how I weigh my assignments. So homework is worth 15%. Classwork and formative assessments like quizzes and important writing pieces are worth 25% each. And the highest weighted grade is the summative assessments, which include unit tests and major writing pieces, such as the final draft of their unit essays. Most of the homework that I assign, we do begin in class. So a lot of the homework that they have to finish will be under the category of classwork. If you'd like to read my syllabus in detail to learn about my other policies, you can access the syllabus through your child's Canvas page by clicking on the syllabus button and clicking on this blue here button. It's going to take you to another window and under the downloadable files and PDF section, the first thing listed is my syllabus. So if you are interested in seeing my late work policy and just other policies that I have in my classroom, I would encourage you to take a look at that. You can either download it or just view it in another window. Okay, moving on. I know this has been a concern for many parents. So how often is homework assigned? I have longer homework assignments that are given a week or more in advance. So students have an ample amount of time to complete it. So for example, right now they have a, a reading log for their annotations for three chapters that was given to them last week. So essentially they've had two weeks to complete this assignment. So that is more than enough time for them to complete their annotations. And because it is an assignment that requires a span of an activity like reading, I do allow more time for those things. The shorter homework assignments include like the grammar work from their My Perspectives book or finishing up a chapter that we weren't able to finish in class. So those are, typically given one to two days to complete. Some classroom routines for weekly and monthly in English are the following. On Mondays or the first day that I see your child, I always have a beautiful week to be a live story. And this is just an uplifting story so that we can all start off the week on a positive note. Every Friday, I do shout out one student for each class. And this is a, for a student who has done a great job that week. Also, every month I do announce a student of the month and with the student of the week and student of the month, there are prizes associated with it. For my shout outs, there will be a note from me mailed to your home address to your child with a vinyl sticker based on a category that they chose. So some of you may have already received a letter from me addressed to your child because we are in the fifth week of school. So there have already been several shout outs. And this is just an example of some of the categories they can choose from. These slides are actually slides that I showed to the students. So how can your child receive a shout out? Just by showing that they're invested in being successful in class by uh, showing me their engagement, either through their body language in the video, participating in the chat or in the participants window, following directions and all of the things to show that they are invested in the class. For a student of the month, same thing, showing me that they're invested in their success in the class. And I wrote that this can be difficult each month because I have so many amazing students that sometimes it is so hard for me to, to choose. 
And with the student of the month prize, if your child does get it, you or your child will have to come onto campus to retrieve the prize. They'll be choosing one of these three Pocky flavors and they'll also get a lottery scratcher, a safe lottery scratcher uh, from me where I get to write in prizes for them and then they can choose a prize. And on the back of it is a personalized note from me telling them how amazing they are. So you will be receiving an email if your child is selected as student of the month so that you can um, get a time frame of when to pick up their prize. The next thing I'd like to go over is what's going on in class. I've included a picture of the composition book because we use this nearly every single day to take notes in and they submit their notes through pictures that they'll be uploading on Canvas. This isn't something that I collect every single day or every week. It's after a couple of weeks where we have um, several notes that we've taken and then I collect it in bulk. I've also included a cover of The Giver just to tell you that we're reading The Giver, but you probably already knew that. The last thing I wanted to go over is how to set up a meeting with me if you need to. Right now, you can email me through Canvas or Synergy to set up a Zoom meeting and we can decide on a day and time that we are both available. So my availability is usually Monday through Thursdays, 4 to 6 p.m. And if you need to meet on a Friday afternoon or even in the mornings or sometimes on the weekends, I'm also available to work out a plan so that we can meet when it's convenient for both of us. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching my video. And I look forward to working with your child and you this school year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.